So things are going to start getting exciting. We're going to change the material and we're going to have our character do his first walkthrough uh, and, uh, in our level. So what I want to do now is click on this gray material and what I'm going to do is go and get uh, one of the Metas mega scan surfaces that I downloaded. Now I downloaded two and uh, I'm going to use this stony step and what you do is you double click on it and it will open. If ever it's like floating around just drag it and put it up here and it's so much uh, better to work uh, with that. I'm going to just put it back to the defaults here. Normally the default, it looks something like this. And what I want to do is if I, I want to add it to here, which I can do simply. And I'll just mention this here. You see these asterisks? It means it hasn't been saved yet. So I made some changes and it hasn't been saved. Um, not a big deal. I'll save it in a second. And what I want to do is you notice when I select this, the in the details panel, a whole series of information shows up but here where it says landscape material I can just click and drag it which is probably the easiest and now it adds it now the thing is if I go all the way down you're gonna see that it's uh, let me just see uh, let's go like this it's just like a small pad it doesn't look good okay so what we're gonna do is make it a lot larger now, there's not better ways to do this, but since we're working with student projects, our goal is to kind of get it looking pretty good, uh, you know, but if I was working maybe on a professional set, I might make it a little more detailed, but that would be a little more complicated. So for now, we're just going to go with this. So change the 1 to 0 0.01. 0 0.01 and by the way this is probably like this it's probably grayed so you actually have to turn it on and then type this in here uh, and let's go and now I need to save it if I don't save it it won't change and now look look at that so just looks really cool and without really having done any work I have a, a level that's got the basics and of everything that I need now the next step before I can wander around is get my third person character and I'll press the F key and I want to make sure he's above the sometimes when you do your sculpting it moves stuff and he may not be above the ground so it's kind of hard to say and I'll just put him above a little bit and I'll press play and he should just fall and be able to walk around okay so I'll press play and there he is and I'll press F11 it usually does full screen here but it's not doing it so and then what you can start doing is run around look at your level you could still go and sculpt things so here's the big hole that I had done now I could put some water uh, water is a plug-in so you can add it uh, and I think there's a water surface in the uh, materials we'll have a look at that later so, you know, you can walk around your whole level. It might take a little bit of while, but the goal is just to have a look at what does it look like. And, you know, I'm very happy with this. It looks quite good. So we're ready to move on to the next step. Just before finishing this level, I'll add an easier water than uh, there is a plug-in, but uh, I'm going to just go with a simple uh, drag a cube in. And we... Uh, what I will re I'll do is resize this to about 40 by 40. And I can adjust. So if we remember the WER key, so click on this WER key. So I'll press the W key and move this into, so hopefully it fills in the whole hole. And if it doesn't, uh, let's go with 50 here. So just adjust here. Uh, so you want to make sure it covers a whole hole. And if it's like above, just drag it below. You don't want to go too low. Now, just so you know, right now, your character will fall in this. Okay, so, but we're keeping it simple. And under the starter content, which I had said, let's include the starter content because so there's some really cool stuff in there. There's some uh, props, you know, there's basic rock and so on. But we got nicer ones from Quixel, so we'll use that. But there's also materials. And in the materials, there's uh, the ocean water I like. There's also lake water. You can go with whichever one you like. I think I like the ocean more. So, you know, there's 
you could add that as well at this stage in your uh, game development or in your environment development. 